Hi, I'm Kelsey from Ratings.com. We've bought and tested more than 250 mice, including 10 so far this year. We evaluate each of them on our standardized test bench to see how they compare and which one you should buy. In this video, we'll be looking at the best mice available to buy in early 2022. Now, this is a simplified recommendation and we can't cover every category in this video. We take into account performance, price, and availability when making our picks. We recommend you start here to narrow down your options, then dig into the details. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to check out the linked video reviews or the in-depth written reviews and the comparison tools on our website. Firstly, our pick for the best gaming mouse is the Razer Viper Ultimate. Keep in mind that there may be better picks for specific gaming genres, price points, grip types, or particular use cases, but we feel this represents the current best gaming mouse for most people overall. It's got a high performance sensor, low click latency, and a time-tested symmetrical shape with low palm hump and relatively short body. Notably, it has two side buttons on the left and right side, making it an excellent choice whether you're right or left-handed. It connects wirelessly with a USB receiver and recharges with either a flexible power cord-like cable or with an RGB lit cradle that also acts as a receiver extender. It's also fairly lightweight and its shape is well suited for most hand sizes, although it isn't a great choice if you have larger hands and prefer a palm or claw grip. If you're more interested in an ultra light option and don't mind a wired connection, be sure to check out the Rocat Comb Pro. Or if you're willing to pay the high end price point, Check out the wireless Logitech G Pro X Superlight, a current favorite among many esports pros. For office use, we recommend the Logitech MX Master 3. It's made of high quality materials throughout and has a very comfortable right handed shape with a wide thumb rest. It connects wirelessly either with its USB receiver or via Bluetooth. You can pair it with up to three devices simultaneously. It has plenty of buttons that you can reprogram using the customization software, including a pair of side buttons on the left and a gesture button on the thumb rest. It also has an outstanding scroll wheel that you can toggle between a notched or free scrolling mode. Additionally, it even has a thumb wheel for horizontal scrolling. Unfortunately, the overall shape of the mouse makes it too large for small hands to use comfortably. For a more affordable option, take a look at the Logitech MX Master 2S, which is the previous generation of the MX Master 3 and shares nearly all the same features. Or for something designed for use on the go, try the Razer Pro Click Mini. If you prefer an ergonomic mouse, our pick is the Logitech MX Vertical. It has a subdued professional look and a comfortable right-handed vertical shape designed to keep your hand and wrist in a more neutral position. It's mostly made of plastic, but the surface that contacts your palm has a rubberized texture for added grip. Despite its unusual shape, it has a high quality conventional scroll wheel. However, this scroll wheel lacks tilt functionality and free scrolling mode. Unfortunately, this mouse isn't ideal for very small or very large hands. It also doesn't have quite the same premium feeling as other products in the Logitech MX lineup. For a cheaper option, the Anchor Wireless Vertical mouse is a good bet. Or if you'd like to check out a trackball model, the Logitech MX Ergo is designed to stay stationary on your desk while you operate the cursor with a large trackball under your thumb. Now for the best budget mouse, we recommend the Logitech G203 LightSync. It has a remarkably consistent sensor, precise controls for your CPI settings, and a very low minimum liftoff distance. Its click latency is excellent and rivals more expensive models, making it a terrific choice for gaming. It has a comfortable egg-shaped body suitable for right and left-handed users, and it has two RGB lighting zones. Unfortunately, it isn't truly ambidextrous as it only has side buttons on the left. Also, its cable isn't as lightweight and flexible as higher-end options. If you're looking for a wireless alternative, the Logitech G305 Lightspeed also has an exceptional performance and shares the same symmetrical shape as the G203. Or if you're looking for a lighter option that's even cheaper, take a look at the Razer Viper Mini. There are some interesting trends we can see from the picks on our list. It's no surprise that we have lots of varied options from Logitech in the top spots. Logitech has long been a leader in producing some of the best office ergonomic and gaming peripherals available on the market. Many of our recommendations are older Logitech products that haven't yet been dethroned by better options. That said, there are a handful of much anticipated mouse releases scheduled for later this year that may radically change this landscape. 
Gaming mice continue to get lighter, and the lines between work and play are being blurred, and other major players like Razer are beginning to enter the productivity sphere. As always, there are plenty of options that we couldn't squeeze onto our list. Feel free to share your mouse of choice in the comments below.